Good morning, good afternoon, and evening to everyone. Again, welcome to ACLJ. So before we proceed uh, with our program, let's welcome Cornerstone Ministry. Sister Jessa, if you can just please unmute, unmute yourself. Hello, good morning, everyone. Hi, Sister Jessa. Let me just see where you're at here. Okay. So, Sister Jessa. Hello, um, yes. Sharon. <laughs> Sister Jessa. Sister Jessa is tuning in all the way from the Philippines. And right now she's outside because there's a yeah. <laughs> brownout or blackout, whichever. <laughs> so there's no electricity there. So she is using her, her cell phone. You see, Sister Jessa and I, um, she reached out to me a couple of months ago because they wanted to start a lifestyle training center in the country. And it seems like these months, God has truly tested her faith. So let's find out more about their ministry and the update to our conversation. So go ahead, Sister Jessa. Okay. Hello, everyone. Good morning. So it is nine o'clock here in the Philippines, and I'm very happy to be part of this program this morning. So um, I'd like to share my um, I don't know how to screen with you. Yeah. Sure. Maybe I can try it. <laughs> Wait a okay. Can you see it now? Yeah, we can definitely see it. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, oh, this it's this is the message. Uh oh. Uh, I think we're looking at a message. Chats. Yeah, yeah. I'm just opening my okay. report here in the PowerPoint. And for those, again, joining us on YouTube and Facebook, you're now listening to Sister Jessa. She is okay. a missionary all the way from the Philippines. She's actually trained as a nurse, and she's um, giving all her talents in spreading um, the Three Angels message, especially with the health message. So she, she, here she is to speak about okay, it. Thank you so much, Mom Sharon. Sister Sharon, thank you for this privilege that you have given to us. So uh, since 2013, we worked as a family missionary and my husband was trained in amazing facts here in the Philippines. And from that moment, we've become uh, missionaries. So I am a registered, registered nurse and there are a lot of opportunities for me, but um, there came to a point that I've dedicated myself to the Lord. I said, Lord, I don't want the world to use me, but I want you to use me and I take the path that so many people have neglected. And so we've started the missionaries and medical ministries. So from that moment, we have had some um, medical missionaries too. We were the, at first we were doing cleansing program and then we go to churches and do cleansing program like detoxification and then house to house visit. We have started a local a medical missionary training with young people. We have stayed there in Hawaii for one year, and we have uh, more or less 60 uh, young people. We've been training them to health, blood pressure, blood sugar, those basic assessments, and how we can enter into the homes of um, those prejudices, uh, they are prejudiced in our uh, doctrine. So we are so privileged that God made way for us to um, continually support that program. So um, last 2019, uh, Cornerstone Ministry, we have started this Cornerstone Ministry in collaboration with Negros Occidental Conference. And have you, as you have seen in the picture, those are the first uh, batch of our church-based 
uh, medical missionary training. So these are uh, the staffs. Some of them are medical doctors. And one of our training director was, uh, he was, uh, he, the first training director here in the Negros Conference died because of complication of COVID-19. And so we prayerfully um, hope that that legacy that we have started last year will be continued. So um, through God's provision and leadings, we were able to uh, organize again this batch two. And today is the start of this batch two. So before I would uh, tell you more about our program, I will just um, go to this another slide. So we believe that the world has a problem, right? So according to Mrs. Ellen G. White, it says here, perilous times are before us and the whole world will be involved in perplexity and distress and disease of every kind will be upon the human family. And such ignorance as now prevails concerning the loss of health would result in great suffering in the loss of many lives that might be saved. So this is one goal that we want to pursue while doing the medical missionary work. If it is possible to do it monthly, we would go and share this message to everyone because um, only through um, medical missionary work we can find entrance to their hearts. Because um, this second paragraph says, while Satan is constantly doing his utmost to take advantage of man's ignorance and to lay foundation of disease by improper treatment of the body, it is best for those who claim to be sons and daughters of God to avail themselves while they can of the opportunities now presented to gain a knowledge of the human system and how it may be preserved in health. We are to use every faculty of mind which God has given us. Dear brothers and sisters, it's very sad to see uh, individuals uh, like this pandemic. We cannot help them. They are so uh, ignorant about the loss of health, the loss of their bodies. Where it's supposed to be, it's uh, we can treat them naturally, but they need to go to the hospital and you know, um, expenses are very high and sometimes they even can't survive in the hospital. So this is the very burden in our hearts that we want to uh, teach. We want to teach our young people to be part of this medical missionary work that many people will be reached out. And as what uh, God has said, we can teach them on how to treat their bodies and how to heal them naturally and give glory to God through their bodies. So next paragraph, uh, next paragraph says, the Lord has a solution. Through studying the human organism, we are to learn to correct what may be wrong in our habits and which if left uncorrected would bring the sure result, disease and suffering. Yes, um, medical missionary work is the pioneer work of the gospel, the door through which the truth for this time is to find entrance to many homes. God's people are to be genuine medical missionaries, for they are to learn to minister to the needs of both soul and body. The purest unselfishness is to be shown by our workers as with the knowledge and experience gained by practical work, they go out to give treatment to the sick. To the sick, as they go from house to house, they will find access to many hearts. Many will be reached out who otherwise never would have never heard the gospel message. Yes, this is true, my brothers and sisters. Many times we have experienced, uh, experienced families who are prejudiced in our message, but through medical missionary work, we found entrance to their hearts and um, just last year we have one patient who is i can say he, she is dying already and um they are hopeless already but um we prayed 
that the Lord will make a way for her. And so we started to give her, her uh, treatment naturally. And after a month of treating her, we are very happy for her recovery. As what God has promised, that he will never fail us if we uh, follow what he has done to treat the body and soul. So we are very happy that uh, six of them in the family, whole family, were uh, uh, given, were have given their lives to the Lord together. So we are so grateful and very happy for the Lord is showing us how this medical missionary work will uh, work out in this case. I know that um, the Lord has prepared us and me for this work because I am sure that he is working with us. So let's go to um, this page. What is a medical missionary work? Again, medical missionary is the right hand of the gospel. So it is necessary for the advancement of the cause of God. As true, it men and women are led to see the importance of right habits of living. The saving power of the truth will be made known. Every city is to be entered by workers trained to do medical missionary work as the right hand of the third angel's gospel. God's method of treating disease will open doors for the entrance of present truth. Health literature, yes. So this is the a way, the right hand of the gospel. So we can preach the three angels message through through medical missionary work and that's the yeah. only resemblance of god's uh what done for us so uh sister sharon this is our program in cornerstone ministry first uh medical missionary training number two we have ground working so uh we are assigned um we find a place here in Negros Occidental to stay there in one month. So three weeks, uh, we do ground working like um, assessment, health assessment, medical missionary work, house visitation, Bible studies, and, and then um, so also has medical mission for the community. So, all the sister things that they need. Then, uh, new evangelistic seminars and And the last that we have learned yet is the Lord has just given us a lot. We are, um, we are so grateful for his answer. And so many nights we prayed to the Lord. We cried to him, Lord, why have you not given us yet? Are we not ready? <laughs> so I am asking the Lord, Lord, I know this is your will for us. There is no other way because we are nearing. We are nearing to that crisis which we cannot bind ourselves already. So amazingly, the Lord has answered. and soon. We're going to set up the uh, fifth goal of ministry is to set up the training school in the country and also to make an agricultural farm where we can have the, our own provision, our food, and also to sustain the ministry. So um, I have here in my back is the dragon fruit. So we have here a dragon fruit farm, but this is not ours. This is owned by a Chinese, but my father supervises. So... I wish that I could also set up this because it's a sister program here, medical missionary training, juicing, um, healthy juicing, healthy cooking. Um, this is hydro. Yes, hydrotherapy. This is health assessment, like checking your BP, uh, pulse oximeter, checking our oxygen level. So this is our natural herbs, which we give to our patients. So we do a lot of that to assess our patients. And also we, um, we emphasize the healthy lifestyle, the, a new start. A new start stands with A, affiliation. It's relationship. We need 
uh, a relationship toward each other. And then the new start, nutrition, exercise, water, sunlight, temperance, air, rest, and trust in God. So we emphasize that in our medical missionary training. And we, I have here, I'm going to show you a praise report. Um, it's a video of what we have done as um, we have done last last medical missionary batch one medical missionary training batch one. So I don't think it has sound here. So this is our, our church-based medical missionary training. But right now, we are already conference-based. So praise God. The conference here in the Negros Occidental has, um, they have taken the program because last uh, church-based program, uh, we are actually finding a place. We pay for a place. Last year, we paid 20000 for a place so that we can have the training. So right now, we are also renting again because we don't have our own lot yet. But we are praying that the Lord will be. So these are our speaker, our district pastors here in Negros Occidental. Yeah, this is our training director, but sadly, he died of COVID. So... So this is the training proper, a short video, health profiling, BMI, but base, uh, body metabolic index. This is um, cooking, healthy cooking, assessment, this body fat checkup, hydrotherapy, blood pressure checkup, herbs, healthy choosing, Yes, massage therapy. This is our community immersion. Those are our trainees. So there are 21 trainees graduated in the first batch. So after the two months, uh, yeah, we have deployed them in different churches. So this is the demonstration. So praise the Lord for the reaping 26, 26 precious souls. This is health expo demonstration. Another uh, souls baptized. Praise God for that. And then another souls here in the church. So we have... Um, uh, we have not uh, put the picture here of the ongoing work and groundwork of our medical missionaries yet, but we are grateful. I know the Lord saw all of this, and I praise God for his leading Sister Sharon. So thank you so much for this privilege. So I think that's all I can share. Amen. That's an amazing praise report right there. And I like to emphasize the fact that in their training program, um, you know, this whole three months that they're training, they're actually applying it and they're being sent out to churches. What if we can implement something like that here in the United States? Mm -hmm. And, um, and you know, the fee there to, to be a medical missionary, it's a, I believe it's a $75 conversion wise, right? And it's uh, for it's in a three month immersion. Um, what I wanted to emphasize is, you know, there's a lot of people who want to get training, medical missionary training, what it looks like. And people says they can't afford it. But guess what? They're in the Philippines. They're actually doing it. They're training the people at an affordable uh, rate. And they're actually being sent out to churches to also train the churches. That, that's something I haven't um, seen um, here in the United States, but um, I think it's it's a great program, 
And Sister Jessa, I thought you posted something as well that uh, you you were able to um, make a down payment on a country property. It's yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We were able to close the deal last uh, January 26. And right now, we are already cultivating the land, Sister Sharon. So praise God for that. Amen. Do you have a picture of that? It's a really cute um, home. It's... Um, it's a native, it's a type of like native home that you can find in the, in the, in the yeah. rural areas of the Philippines. Um, yeah, yeah. And I guess I just wanted um, other people to see what, oh, you know, a native home is in the Philippines. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a police report. So Sister Jessa here is a full-fledged medical missionary um, going to move to the country, right, in which the Lord opened the door, but also uh, praying for um, a lifestyle center um, that they can have in the country. Yeah. Here yeah. it is. Here's some pictures of it. Yeah, I see. Yeah, um, those are children. I, thought I have. <laughs> can you see it? Huh? Um, I did the earlier. Still sharing. Um, yeah, still sharing. Uh -huh. It's still sharing. Um, yeah. I forgot to save it. And so for those who are just joining us, this is Sister Jessa. She's doing a praise report. She is a medical missionary from the Philippines. And also she's going to share with us um, a picture of a country home that they just closed on. And... Um, Let's see here. So if anyone's interested in being here, where is it? There it is. Yes. Yeah, this is a native house. We yeah. have purchased, um, this is the land. It's only a small land, uh, 3,200 square meter. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are praying that the Lord will uh, maximize. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so this is the native house, a uh, cute house. Um, it's made of bamboo. Yeah, it's made of bamboo. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, right now we are, um, because this area is very cool, so if you're going to make a native house there, you have to make sure to um, double wall it so that you will not get chilled in the evening. <laughs> so it's a cool area here. It's part of the mountain. It's overlooking the city already. Amen. Amen. Excellent. Again, uh, thank you so much. Just, yes, uh, that's an excellent testimony. Yeah.